It's Thursday, September 29, uh, 2022 at 11.32, and I'm just now driving into the main part of Bar Harbor. So we'll take a look at how crowded Bar Harbor is today, and uh, see what things look like. I don't know if there'll be a cruise ship in today. Uh, this time of year, there are cruise ships on the schedule for most days, but I don't really know what time they arrive. So what do we got on the uh, ends here? No vacancy. A vacancy at the inn on Mount Desert. Ledge Lawn doesn't have anything posted. There are some people walking around. Motel there. Not that busy, but uh, people are probably out checking out the National Park rather than sitting in the motel right now since it is 11.30 on Thursday. We're going to come up here to Main Street, take a look if there's a place to park. I will get out and walk around a little bit. Uh, it looks pretty parked up over here. Uh, I don't really see any spots yet and we're backed up for our turn on to Main Street. There are a fair number of people walking around. Of course, uh, right now we're probably getting people who've come back into Bar Harbor to grab some lunch. <laughs> it's going to be a while before I can turn on to Main Street, so I am going to shut the camera down until I make the turn. I'm coming up on Main Street right now. There are quite a few people walking around and lined up outside some of the restaurants. So we will see if we can make our left turn onto Main Street here. And this is always uh, a bit of a challenge this time of year. We're waiting for tourists to uh, walk across the street and also for gaps in traffic. <laughs> so. Sometimes, when there's no traffic, we've got people crossing the street, which means I can't make my turn. Or right now, I've got a post office vehicle. Okay, looks like I can go right now. Take advantage of some people crossing who are blocking traffic going the other way. And here is Main Street, and it is busy today. There are a lot of people here. This is as crowded as it gets in mid-August. So I'm guessing when we get down to the waterfront, we may see a cruise ship in. Either that or this is just the lunch rush. But it's uh, pretty busy. A lot of people walking around. So far I've not seen a single parking spot on Main Street. We'll see what there is as we get further down. very slowly because you never know when oh here's one parking spot you never know when somebody's gonna step out between a couple of cars and uh, walk across the street so you gotta take it slow and we come up here to a crosswalk which and it looks like we got we got lots of people waiting to get into restaurants it looks like it's busy down here today. Yep. Any place to park down here? It doesn't look like it. Basically, I would say that I am not going to be getting out and walking around because the uh, they've even got parking blocked off down here for some reason. So there's not much parking available here in downtown Bar Harbor today at 11.38 on September 29, 2022. Let's see if I can turn here. Got to wait till people walk across. And there are buses loading. The schooner Margaret Todd is out there. 
and there's a big boat out there but that in the cruise ship that's a private yacht <laughs> so no cruise ships visible just a lot of people walking around in Bar Harbor so this is the noon rush it's a little bit overcast here today uh, and looks like the town dock is pretty much full so far I've not seen a single spot down here yet I usually don't park down here during parking meter season because you have to go over and pay at a kiosk and it's kind of a pain and uh, I would only be here for 25 cents worth and by the time I pay and then walk back over and uh, get my sticker on the car I uh, would have used up half of my time so it isn't worth it to use a kiosk okay. this is always tight in here because this is where the lobster fishermen park their pickup trucks <laughs> And here we go. So far, no parking on Main Street except for one spot I saw where someone had just pulled out. And nothing down here on the town dock. So it is busy today in Bar Harbor. And we'll go up, back up Main Street, get another look at it, and see what's going on up the hill. There's a tour bus there blocking off about eight or ten parking spots and here we go up the hill up Main Street and as you can see it's packed I don't know why they have parking blocked off here today must be some sort of event there's another tour bus over there must be something that's bringing tour buses in and they arrange for places to park them down here but as you can see there hasn't been a single spot down here coming up to cottage where I'm gonna turn there's a line of people waiting to go into one of the restaurants and uh, it is busy okay here we go Let's see if I can sneak in between people crossing the street as we turn onto Cottage Street. And as you can see, even Cottage is pretty well parked up today. Well, I'd say Bar Harbor today, just before noon, September 29, is as busy as it gets even in mid-August at peak season. I think the first batch of leafers that is, people who come to see fall colors have come to Mount Desert Island. And a lot of them are in Bar Harbor right now. See, it's really busy. Now, there's a little bit of parking open at the post office. That's 15-minute uh, parking, though, basically for people going into the post office. So when I get up here a little bit, I'm going to stop. And we will call this video over for this part. I'll also shoot a little as we leave Bar Harbor after I make my visit to the grocery store. If this person decides what they're doing, I will get up here and take a look. Well, here's uh, one of the Bar Harbor gas stations. And we're looking at uh, $3.59 for cash, or if you use a credit card, $3.71 a gallon for regular. Um, that's not the cheapest gas on the island by a significant margin. If you go uh, over by Somesville, last week I paid $3.65 a gallon uh, using my credit card. So a few parking spots out here, but not many, but I'm only a block from the grocery store. So I will go in there and call this video uh, segment finished. They just pulled out of the grocery store. It was uh, typical. Uh, some of the things I wanted were not there. Others were fine. <laughs> 
So anyway, we're going to head on out of Bar Harbor. I think what I might do is just drive through a couple of residential streets to show you what residential Bar Harbor looks like as opposed to downtown. Now this street here, which goes from Cottage back over to Eden Street, is uh, almost all inns. <laughs> all the, pretty much the bulk of the houses here have been turned into inns of one sort or another. <laughs> there are just a couple houses yeah, Bar Harbor Manor Hotel Inn and Suites has a vacancy, it says, and uh, pretty, uh, pretty busy. So what I'm going to do is make a, a left and then a right here. This is Holland Avenue that I'm on. So we'll make a left and a right, and we will go down couple of side streets just to see what residential Bar Harbor looks like here at the end of September. If I can get out of here that is. All this traffic. Okay, is this one way? No, it is not. Okay, we're going to go down Spring Street and come back out a different street. See what it's like. So this is residential Bar Harbor. One issue with residential Bar Harbor is that a lot of the homes here are uh, available for short-term rental and over the last few years because of the high price of housing here in Bar Harbor a lot of these homes have been bought up by uh, investors and turned into uh, weekly rentals and the town has been uh, toying with changing their ordinances to uh, limit how many homes can fall into that category. So we'll turn here and head over rather than that road just goes out around some uh, fields. A lot of homes here as you can tell by the out-of-state license plates of the vehicles parked there are uh, rentals or owned as summer homes so that's uh, something that is very common in the residential part of Bar Harbor. Now Bar Harbor the whole town which is sort of the northern quarter of the island only has uh, 5,000 people so a lot of these homes uh, are not owner occupied particularly down here. If you look on the real estate websites, typical house down here uh, is going to sell in the oh, three quarters of a million up range. <laughs> and that's not for a big house. That's just for one of these sort of smaller homes. Nice, nice neighborhoods though. Pleasant homes. But if you did buy a house here, you uh, might have a weekly rental home next door. And uh, a lot of people who live here don't like that. And I can understand it because the street I live on has seven houses and four of them are weekly rentals. Two new homes are being built right now and they're both going to be weekly rentals. So uh, we're going to drop into the minority as full-time residents on the street that I live on. Okay, here we go. I'm going to turn left here, I think. <laughs> Depends on what traffic is doing. As I get out of here. This motorhome was blocking traffic. <laughs> okay, here we go. I think I can go now. And we will head out of Bar Harbor. 
think. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly where I am right now. Kind of got turned around back there. Oh, we're back on Eden Street. Okay. So, this is Bar Harbor today, September 29, 2022. It's currently 1237. It's 61 degrees, so a little warm, but not bad. Yeah, as you can see, Bar Harbor is pretty busy today. Uh, for this time of year in particular, it's as busy as I've seen it this summer. So, with that, I think I'm going to end the video now that you've seen a little bit of residential Bar Harbor. And have a feel, I hope, for what the town looks like and how crowded it is at the end of September 2022. So I'll say if you enjoyed the video and this quick look at Bar Harbor, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't, why don't you consider subscribing to my channel and maybe even clicking that notification bell so you'll find out when my next video will be posted. And uh, other than that, thanks for watching.